Hey dudes, CI here. So this is my 52nd video with all of you. We have gone through an entire year, but I'm not gonna do my one year anniversary show now, I'm gonna do it next week. This week, well, I'll talk about two things that I've talked about a lot. <laughs> if you've been watching for the last year, you know that I've talked a lot about my writing and I've talked a lot about my concerts that I've gone to. So I might as well do both of those today. My writing is going well. I'm not talking about my Portland Timbers soccer column. That's every single week, and it's going fine. I'm talking about my novel that I've been working on for like two years now, maybe a year and a half. And it's getting close. It really is. It's exciting. I haven't written the, the final scenes. I have a sense of what they will be, though. And i got to just put it down. More excitingly, next week I'm going to be workshopping the beginning of the novel with uh, five new people who haven't read it, any of it have no sense of it whatsoever. The thing about being a writer is when you are working on a novel, you can see it from the inside. I understand all the characters. I know what's happening. But it's an entirely different experience for a reader. A reader doesn't know any of the stuff that I know. The reader is viewing the story from the outside. And that's incredibly helpful because, of course, I understand. Of course, the novel works for me. But who cares what I think of it? I'm the writer. I'm looking at it from the inside. What about somebody viewing it from the outside? What about an, a reader? Those are the people that are really helpful. And so next week when I do my workshop, I hope that they'll tell me all the things that are, need to be fixed, all the things that are working, all the things that aren't working. I'm really looking forward to it. Second item, concerts. I went to see Dead Sarah, and it was glorious. It was such a great show. And it was a little frustrating because they were playing in a little tiny place, and the crowd wasn't even that big or crazy, and the show was so good. They deserved better. They deserved to be headlining huge shows in front of huge crowds. Maybe they do that in their hometown of Los Angeles. Maybe they get great crowds down there. But up here in Portland, it was kind of a middling crowd, and I sort of felt sorry for them. It didn't stop them from putting on a ridiculously great show. I was parked right in front of the guitarist, whose name is Susie, and she was cool. She had the hair going, and she was just, you know, awesome. But she was nothing compared to the lead singer. Emily Armstrong is astonishing. She has got this ability to, to transition between absolute bellowing screams and then just gorgeous, soft, angelic singing. It was heavenly. My friend Mary was there with me. She shot this video. get a chance to see Dead Sarah, please do. Absolutely exceptional. Mary said that if she had seen this show when she was 15 years old, it would have changed her life. Maybe you should see if it'll change your life too. Dead Sarah. Okay guys, that is it for me this week. Writing and concerts. Two typical themes for me. Next week we'll have a one year anniversary. I'll see you then.